Okay, so here's a, a pass set progression that, you know what I mean, typically I do it in the, uh, these, these are good off-season drills. So what I'm looking for with this drill is I don't know whether you can see that faint blue line here. I want to be up on the line of scrimmage in, in the, that faint blue line there is the, is the line of scrimmage. So I want to take a uh, kick slide, kick slide. Now I refer to it as the big gulp, small gulp because that first kick wants to be bigger than that second kick. Now I want to try to set myself so that I kick slide, kick slide, I get this left foot on the line. Once I get the left foot on the line, I want to go on the line, off the line, on the line, off the line, on the line, off the line. So I'm measuring the distance between inside and outside shoulder width. So you can see how he's trying to step on and off, on and off, on and off, all the while keeping his body at the right height. Ball could be a little higher. Again, hand carriage, wrist should be just a little higher than the elbows in my world. Now I try to simulate and I put these bags here. So I got a couple here and I, there's a couple over here so that they can have a visual cue where five yards is because I don't want to flip my hips before I get to five yards. I want to try to stay as square as possible. So as I flip my hips, the defender, imaginary defender is lined up out here and he's taking a path to the quarterback like this. So once I get the five yards, I want to flip my hips. And with this off hand, I want to try to reach across to get to that right hip or left hip of that defender to be able to get him off his path. So guideline is, is I prefer 20 steps on and off. Again, right foot is nice and straight. Left foot's on and off. Now again, small point, We're watching Grizz get out of his stance, so much weight he gets over his left side of his body. When, when he gets into his stance, I would prefer a sweep with the left foot and I stay heavy on the right foot. Now as he's putting the foot in the ground, you can see how he swings that heel. You know what I'm saying? All I'm looking for is our inside, outside shoulder width. The distance on that line is what I'm looking for. So when he brings that heel in and sort of twists it, you know what I'm saying? Is, is he's collapsing his base a little bit too much for me. Right there. You can see how that heel turns in. You know what I'm saying? That's not a, a very good position. I should still have my body weight, 60% of my body weight over the inside leg. And I know that Charles Bentley doesn't agree with that. He thinks he should be 50-50. I'm, I'm not ready to move to that, uh, that philosophy as of yet. And again, I should be able to, with the big gulp, small gulp, be able to get the width. And you can see Quinn's got the problem too, because he gets too much weight over his left shoulder over his left foot when his weight on that kick slide should be over the inside foot. So left right-handed stance, again, on and off. You see the heel action going on there. So the next stage, the next progression here is being able to post. So I got right along that blue line. And I'm looking to be as straight as I can along that right side body so that if I get a guy that's coming inside and I have a defender, it's like trying to pass a trick. If I'm leading with my foot instead of with my hip and my shoulder and I'm trying to bump that trick off, it's going to be problematic. So again, nice job by Moose. Keep a great body position. You know what I'm saying? Heavy on the right side, being as straight as he can. Now again, see how Junior's leading with the foot? First thing to my right is his foot. He's going to end up stepping on somebody or getting stepped on. Right and left-handed stance. So again, the next phase is just working without the on and off, just working medium speed. 
So the, the key thing I try to emphasize coaching point is I'm not reaching back with the left leg. I'm trying to pump with the up leg. And, and to that end, we spend time in the off season working lunges where I'm out of my stance and I step forward in this instance with my right foot and try to, and then try to drive myself back off of that right foot so that I can create more pump. I know the Charles Bentley sells those little discs that you can put underneath this foot so that, you know I mean? In his terms, it's drives, uh, uh, drive catch instead of kick slide. In essence, they're the same thing. Again, trying to keep my hips and shoulders square to the line of scrimmage till I get the five yards. Now again, watching the throw as he's, as he's our boy V is a little bit too high with it. I don't want to punch for the shoulder as that defender's dipping to come around the top. I'm going to see a hip and I want to try to find his hip with my right hand. Again, big gulp, small gulp. So we'll do these with one gulp. So I do one kick slide, then I get back on the shaft. You know what I'm saying? If I get a three tech here, I want to be able to try to get out here, force him to bubble or force him to engage me. You know what I'm saying? I can block a lot of guys by stepping out there. They Defenders don't want to get their hands, let, let you get their hands on. So they're going to rush away from you. Okay, so another one, as I'm going down, you can see the body position. Nice bend in the knees. Now, so this one, it's on and off with the right foot. Left foot should be straight. That right foot, so I should be going from toe instep to toe heel. And being able to measure my feet in that regard is important. Now, you watch Grizz. Watch how far he pulls that right foot back. You know what I'm saying? He, his base is almost parallel. The other thing is, our boy Grizz doesn't fold up. You know what I'm saying? At this point, you know what I mean? He's as tall as he is when he finishes the drill. The elevator only goes up one inch. When we're working in the lab here, I want to see if he could try to change my pad level, try to reprogram repro my nervous system so that I get used to playing in a different, more powerful body position. And again, right and left of these. Find the line, Moose. And again, watching Moose here, as he could pull these shoulders to the back of the joint. You know what I'm saying? When he leans these shoulders forward, it moves his whole center of mass forward. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to be in this position so when the defender comes across and applies force, as I can shoot this leg back, drop my ass, but be able to maintain so that if he hard steps me, I don't lean into it, and then he's able to run by clean. Now, I'm not liking the way Quinn's holding the ball. I prefer his hands so that his thumbs are almost pointing together. Now, again, LaCharles Bentley and Scott Peters, they've chronicled to – huge degree, being able to rotate your hands with thumbs up creates more power. And I agree, creates more power, but, but I'm still not sold on that. And I prefer hand uh, placement with my thumbs pointing to each other and my baby fingers extended. More on that later if we have time. But and again, left foot up and back. Let me just get through a few more here. So now in this drill, uh, we got the one post slide. So the change of direction, which is always important. So I kick slide out, post slide in. I have the defender that fakes coming inside, be able to respect and take away the inside move. And then be able to flip my hips at five yards. And again, you can see the red uh, crayons are trying to uh, designate where five yards is. And again, you can see all my guys, even though the 
the, the emphasis is staying heavy on the right. You can see how Junior gets his body weight over his left. And again, as he's coming inside, he's leading with his foot. The problem with that is, is that if, if, if I get the, they're trying to run a stunt, you know what I'm saying? And I'm the penetrator, my foot's there. All of a sudden the guard is going to end up stepping on his foot because that's the first thing he's leading with. Keep that right foot underneath my body. 